Okay, key is on. Coil negative, positive. So you got two wires on the positive. You got the power, and then you got the uh, feed for the choke and the solenoids. So you want to put your test light on coil negative, and then you put the test light to ground. Test light's off right now, so that tells me or at least actually let's just make sure that we get power like I said earlier so you, we do have power on coil positive if the test lights off on coil negative that should indicate points are closed right now drawing that voltage to ground so by turning the engine by hand it would help if it's out of gear when turning the engine by hand we can get the light to go on and off. Again, when it's off, the point should be closed. We can verify that by taking the cap off. Take the rotor out. The points are closed right now. And then you turn it until the point's open. The voltage and current has nowhere to go now, so obviously there's voltage on the present here and it's now grounding out through the test light, okay? So if your light never comes on, either the points are always closed or this coil wire here going to the condenser or somewhere in here is always touching ground. So right now with the, uh, with the light on, uh, actually, let's close it first. Okay, with it closed, now I'm going to disconnect the points here from the condenser. Hopefully, you can still see this. It's a bit dark. The points are now disconnected. The voltage is going to the condenser, coming up to this terminal down here, and it can't go anywhere. And because it can't go anywhere, it finds ground through the test light. I'm going to reconnect the points. see it. Points are reconnected, they're closed, light goes off. So it basically comes down to troubleshooting um, in terms of just following the flow. If you uh, disconnect the points like he said, or the uh, condenser, and the light is on, the voltage can't go anywhere, the current can't go anywhere. And then when you reconnect it, you said the light goes off. So now all you got to do is follow follow the current the flow if you disconnect the points light comes on then your points something in here is grounding it out again they're supposed to be open right when they're open the lights on um, if you disconnect the points from the condenser and the light still doesn't come on just follow follow the voltage some more let's do it this way uh, I'm gonna hook test light to ground up here and I'm going to touch the terminal where the condenser is you can see so the voltage right here it comes along here it goes to the condenser uh, it, it splits off to the condenser and it comes down to this terminal so this right now is good you got power here going there coming here which is good and then you just reconnect the points now we're going to turn this again until the points open and the light comes on and then we can follow it some more. Points are open right now, light is on. So now, if we touch here, light is on because there's voltage here, it can't go anywhere. It's gonna be over here as well. This whole arm is gonna be lit up because it can't go anywhere, the voltage can't go anywhere. Once you bridge this gap here, the light goes out. Which made me think of something else here now. Maybe your points this guy here is grounding to this stem. Um, I've never seen that happen before. Uh, maybe there's something wrong with those points, wrong style points. I'm not sure. Anyways, uh, like I said, it's just going to come down to fa basically following the current. Um, once you find where it doesn't switch, see, so watch this. I'm going to turn it now. I'm just on the point lever here. Close. See, once you find the place where it doesn't switch 
which is going to be difficult because in your case it's always off uh, but eventually you got to be able to find it like I said just disconnect one wire at a time there's only two connections here and you'll find the problem good luck